I'm Tracy Walker. I'm a filmmaker. I'm Rachel Baskerville. I'm a photographer. And together we are producing a calendar. Join us as we take to the road to get to know 12 fabulous women and their old girls. This is Old Girls on the Road. Today we're visiting Anna and Dee Dee, her 1972 combi, which she's owned for three years and had it fitted out beautifully as a gift to herself for her midlife crisis. Her dream car, though, is a Chev Bel Air. Hi guys! Hello! How are you going? <laughs> Hello! Come on up! Thank you so much for being part of Old Girls on the Road, Anna. You're and, very uh, inviting us into your gorgeous home today. Oh, thank you. Ta. You're welcome anytime. Thank you. With your lovely flares. As teenagers in the 50s, both your parents escaped from what was then known as Yus Yugoslavia. Tell us how and why they did that. I guess, like anybody at that time, just looking for a better life, um, Yugoslavia wouldn't have been the, the nicest of places mm. to be. So um, my grandfather actually came out first. He obviously arranged them for my father and one of my aunts to come out. And my mother's side, uh, my grandfather had escaped uh, into Italy and he saved up in Italy and then brought the family over the border. And my grandmother, they basically handed the keys over to their neighbour mm -hmm. and said, we won't be coming back. The neighbour reported them to the police for a reward. So he not only got the house, but he got the reward for reporting them. So they got pulled up and my grandmother was put in prison for six months. Do you, does your mum have memories of this time? Uh, my mum's passed away. Sadly, I didn't chat to my parents too much about that while they were around, I should have. Um, that's uh, probably a big regret of mine. You've had a few really sad losses in your family. Yeah. Has that affected the way that you view the ageing process? Yeah, definitely. I think my mother's passing was very sudden. She took her own life. Um, it's nothing that we saw coming or to not know how much pain um, what she was going through yeah, and for us not yeah, to see to that to and to know that, that she was point, yeah. To know that, yeah, she was suffering and we didn't we didn't see that, we didn't recognise it, and I think... Um, Sadly, so often the case. Yeah, and depression now, like, it's it's everybody. It, there's so much it's a lot, people know it's a lot more about it now. talked than, about and um, exactly. recognisable. Yeah, I think that changes you, it has to change you. Each day is a gift. So even though you're really passionate about your old cars, you don't really do the car club thing or car show thing. Uh, what interests do take up your weekend? Well, for the last couple of years, Dan and I have been at the Dragon Boat Club. We joined the Dragon Boat Club. And that soaks up a lot of our time. So we, we train three times a week. And we go to regattas, we competed overseas. Uh, we've been really lucky to, to have that opportunity. For those of us at home that don't know, what is dragon boating? Oh, OK. <laughs> Uh, it's a long uh, boat, it's originated in China mm -hmm. um, and it's a, a, I guess a traditional configuration would be 20 paddlers in a boat, you're all in rows, there's 10 rows, it's very precise, it's very methodical, you're part of a machine so it's all about teamwork. We play a game at the end of these questions, it's called Fast and Furious, I'm going to give you two options and you just choose the one that you think is more conducive to a positive ageing process. But don't overthink it, let's go. Moderate alcohol consumption or bottoms up? Bottoms up. A challenge or a comfort? Challenge. 10 units of Botox or a pukteenth of attitude? Attitude. A sea change or a tree change? Sea change. Money or love? Love. <laughs> and I might get a couple in this little space between the V-Dub logo and the headlights, sort of standing in there. 
anything in particular. Just, just leaning in against there. Gorgeous. Natural. You got it. <laughs> Hang on. Super. Sit down. Good boy. Oh, you're such a good boy. <gasps> Who's a... Who's a good boy? Bosky. Hey. Cheers. Cheers, girls. So, how did your love for classic vehicles begin? I always liked old cars, um, but I never thought I'd own one. I'd always heard the stories about the aircon in summer and uh, unreliability, and so I just kind of never entertained the thought. And um, one day, a friend of mine had an old EK beautiful old EK sedan and she said let's go away for the weekend and she'd only just got this car and a bunch of us went down um, to northern New South Wales and the journey getting to the beach and the journey coming back were just as much fun as the time that we had down yeah. there. So it was the the holiday started from the moment we sat in the car and we drove. And the Combi is not your first classic car is it? So where, what was your first and how did you get to the Combi? Uh, it was a 1965 XP um, coupe, so two-door, it was beautiful, two-tone blue. It was a beautiful, beautiful car. And what came after that one? We're terrible surfers, but we were um, spending a lot of time down the coast and we basically were strapping surfboards to the top of this beautiful, <laughs> classic two-door car and um, decided to get the wagon version of the same cars. And this one? How did you come by the combi? Didi. Dee Dee, basically it just stems from, I guess, our love of camping and getting away on the weekends. Yep. And, and we ended up um, settling for a project because um, we just wanted to know that what we bought was, we knew everything that had been done to it. We knew its history. It, yeah. mm -hmm. um, we wanted to keep it for um, forever. So we wanted to, um, to have something we that, it. yeah, um, make it up how we wanted. So it was a shell when we bought it, um, essentially. It used to be a posty van. We, we got to choose the, the colours, we got to choose how we wanted to fit it out inside and um, yeah, we're really happy with everything. What do you love the most about your combi? I love that she was a little diamond in the rough. It's nice to bring something back that otherwise would have been discarded and, and we can sleep in it. Um, what sort of attention do you get when you're driving around in this? I think I've found with this one, um, I think it, I don't know, it's more so when people come up to it and have a look inside that they mm. really appreciate um, just driving by. It's like another yeah. combi. Yeah, because um, they all look the same. They don't change yeah. over the years that yeah. much, do they? Yeah. Combis and V-dubs. So I've, I've had people who have just come up and then had a look inside and gone, oh, wow, this is actually really nice. You're like, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> do you have a memorable outing or camping trip in this car? We were coming back along, um, uh, returning from a, a trip that we did down to Sydney and um, we were just saw about 50k south of Ballon and we threw a fan belt off and we weren't able to put it back on and had to call the RACQ and there was a lovely little um, farmhouse nearby and they sat us on their back deck and gave us cold drinks oh, and we nice. watched this, yeah, watched the world go by and now right on the river, it was gorgeous. So you, you sure. wouldn't be a combi owner if you didn't have one or two breakdown yeah. stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hopefully no more. Hopefully yeah. no more. Yeah. Thanks, Anna. <laughs> Thank you. No, thanks for coming over, girls. That's Thank you so much. It's been it's lovely been chatting been to you. Real we'll see you soon. Okay. See ya. Bye. Bye. Drive safely. <laughs> Cheers.